Peaches are one of my all-time favorite gardening snacks, especially when they're organic and natural, like these ones. We've harvested most of these, but we still have a few left. Here's a nice, ripe, beautiful one. You can see the color on it. Today we're going to be talking about peaches. Mm. This is everything you need to know. If you want to grow peaches, the first thing you need to find out is if they can actually grow in your location. Find out if peaches or other stone fruit can grow in your area. First, let's talk about chill hours. Chill hours are the length of time that the temperature needs to be between 32 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit consecutively for a certain amount of hours. Generally, it's about 700 hours and you need that consecutive length of time in order for the tree to break dormancy. When your peach tree breaks dormancy in the spring, it's important to try to protect it from an early frost. Peach blossoms are highly susceptible to early frost, so I'll give you three ways that you could help prevent this. First, you can plant peaches on the upper half of a north-facing slope. This will help delay the flower time. Also, if you're by a building or a structure, you can plant it about 15 feet away from the building on the north side. This will also help delay the flowering time. And the third easiest way to delay the flowering time is to have a thick mulch down. This will keep the soil temperature cooler and also will delay the flowering time. We prefer to grow our peaches in our semi-dwarf root stock. You can get some on a dwarf root stock, but we just haven't heard very good results with that. We'd rather go on a semi-dwarf, but we don't want a huge peach tree because that'll really shade out all of our garden. But if you have the space, that's up to you, although they get so tall that you need a ladder to get a lot of the fruit. The standard spacing for a peach tree is about 15 to 20 feet apart. We chose to plant them a lot closer. This way we could choose the healthiest ones and just cull out and get rid of the ones we didn't want. The typical peach tree will be in high production for only about 12 years. So it's good to always be planting new trees and having younger ones coming up. So you're always getting a new harvest. If you have the space, it's good to plant a number of different varieties that have different harvest times and stagger those. This way you could be eating peaches for almost all late summer into fall. Most peach trees are self-fertile, so one tree should give you a decent fruit set, but the more trees you plant, the better your pollination will be. There are basically two different types of peaches, clingstone and freestone, and depending on what you want to do with your peaches and your harvest, we really factor in on what kind of type you want to grow. Freestone peaches are best for fresh eating, while clingstone peaches are best for baking and preserves. The standard for peaches is the yellow variety, although there is a white variety, and there are some with a redder hint to them as well. Peaches grow best in a well-drained soil. So make sure you have a soil with a good organic matter content and a nice mulch over top of it. That'll help provide a good, perfect environment for peaches to grow, to get good, healthy, big peaches like this one here. Delicious for fresh eating. Really good. The roots of a peach tree, they aren't as deep and extensive as something, as like a pear or an apple tree. So any weed competition at the bottom or any long drought spell could really affect a young tree. So it's best to have a good thick mulch under there that'll help retain moisture. That'll really help the tree out and any dry spells. After your peach tree has been in the ground for about three years or so, you may be getting some fruit on it and it's advisable that you come through and thin because your peach tree may bear more fruit that it can actually handle. So once that fruit gets set on it and it's green, before it starts to harden, you want to come through, take off a decent amount. How much is up to you. You're going to have to judge that. But if you take some off, that'll allow the other peaches on there to be bigger, healthier, juicier, and tastier. Pruning is important with a peach tree. We choose to do an open center method here, giving a lot of the branches plenty of light and airflow. This is important to help keep down the fungal diseases and stuff. It's real important also to get the structure of a peach tree when it's young. This way you're not cutting off a lot of hardwood branches and stuff, which can cause stress to the tree. You just want to be pulling off the young, fresh growth. That'll be a lot less stress on the tree and allow the tree to focus on its growth when it's younger. Harvesting is definitely the best part and the whole reason we really put the tree in in the first place. But there's a few things to note. You should go online and look up your particular variety to give you just an idea of when the best harvest time is. And then you come out and you can see as ours started to get a nice blush, we're getting close. And then the peaches will be green when they're not ripe. And then as they start to ripen, the, fl the outside will start to turn a little yellow. And as it's getting yellow, you can find some of them. You come over and if they're a little soft to the touch, that means they're fresh, ripe, ready to eat. So some of these are still a little hard, but uh, we ate all the ones we had inside. 
that we recently harvested. So we're gonna bring some more in and eat them up. So there's a lot of nice ones in here. Pretty good size too. We're gonna harvest all these, bring them in, maybe make some preserves or something, make some cobblers. So good. You can see how much we open this tree up to the light so that these peaches will get that nice blush color. Nice red peaches. We think one of the reasons we got that nice red blush color is because we pruned it so much. We thought that was important to help get some good sunlight, get good airflow to the fruit. Some of my best advice for growing peaches or any fruit tree is to find out locally what kind of problems people are having with the particular kind of tree you want to grow. Then do your research and find the varieties that have the disease resistance and the pest resistance to the particular problems in your location. Order those trees from bare root, get them in young, prune them young, and that'll be a huge help towards getting you to harvesting. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, share with your friends, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.